Welcome to a new week. Jace just made a three-pointer. I'm like so emotional, I want to cry. I already went and looked at a investment property, and I'll be at the gym still by 4 a.m. Whichever script wins, the other two have to chip in to buy him a Rolex. It was all done in these. Take that, internet. We're talking with business expert here, Jeff Lerner. You've helped on me thousands of entrepreneurs. Physical, personal, and professional excellence. We're up. Welcome to a new week. At the piano, practicing, actually working on this song, practicing it, making it really smooth. Jacqueline's birthday is in 10 days, so I'll play this for her on her birthday. had this vision when I was a kid that I would get to a place in my life where I could play and record music but I would and, and I would have two things I would have the financial wherewithal that I didn't have to do it for money and I would have some sort of reach or audience that I could distribute music to without having to grind to to distribute the music like go do a million shows and kind of do it the hard way trying to get the music out there so I'm and I'm not there yet I still think I've got about a year to two years but you know I can see it in a couple years now you know I've, I've already got the money that I could just play and record music if I wanted to and not need it need the money but the distribution you know I see myself in about two years having I think by the end of this year I'll have a million person reach but give me one more year I think I can have five to ten million person audience that I can distribute music to and then if I want to make songs and put them out there you know I don't I don't need to sell them I just want to commute the whole point of music is to communicate at least for me and to connect and you know give people a, a feeling or something that has never existed before so at the office just getting some work done I taking a little break I actually just popped over to the gym to see my wife she was training over there and they were kind of laughing because I'm wearing my slippers officer I got one question for you, Who are you what are those? these are my wool slippers or like moccasins I guess you call them and this is my tax return in 2008 you can see that in 2008 I filed a tax return with negative forty thousand dollars negative forty thousand dollars and uh change in income so that was clearly a bad year that was my rock bottom year a lot of other ways too not just no money i got evicted from my apartment and my wife was pretty much leaving me like i would say we separated for a while and, but we didn't end up moving into her parents house because we had no place to live and she went and lived in her old childhood bedroom told me to go live in the spare bedroom. So I'm living in the spare bedroom. And that was the year from, from November of 2008 to spring of 2010. I just worked like a maniac, learning affiliate marketing, learning the internet. And in that year and a half, I paid off just shy of $500,000 in debt, totally turned my life around, dug us out of the hole, got to the point where I could move out of Houston, I moved to Montana, then New York, and went my own way. And we ended up you know, separating fully and getting a divorce. But during that year and a half, when I started learning the skills that allowed me to completely turn my life around, it was all done in these. My L.L. Bean wool-lined moccasins were my footwear of choice for the year and a half that I paid off all my debt and turned my life around. All right, heading home about eight o'clock. But first, gotta stop by Walgreens because it's Jada's birthday tomorrow. So I gotta buy a card and probably gonna buy her some sort of little squishy, plush, stuffed animal toy. Yeah, that's the move. Let's go see how terrible all the pre-written birthday cards are. Yeah, they're terrible, they're terrible. They're all terrible. So that's what we got. I'm in the bathroom 
not because I have to go to the bathroom, but because I had to pretend to go to the bathroom because I had to do a little a little juke because I walked in and Jada was right there and I don't want her to see the stuff I got for her. So I ducked in here. So I'll just stash her stuff in here and then head back out. What's going on in here, guys? We were just wishing that we had a vlog entering. You, are, you were wishing for a vlog? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And lo and behold. So we're just on our morning Starbucks date for the birthday girl here. Hey Trish, you wanna say hi? Hi. How old are you? 12. Hey Trish, you wanna be in my vlog? Sure. This is Trisha, hi. the delightful human that gets me my coffee in the mornings and is, more than that, she gets me my early morning dose of positivity. So she's got a birthday today. Happy birthday. Thanks. Really live it up, girl. Mm -hmm. It's a one shot deal. You gotta wait a year for this the again. Usual. The usual, yeah, she's gonna get the usual. Real original. You know you always wanted to know what I order at Starbucks, so here you go. Almond milk latte with four pumps of sugar-free vanilla. You want a cake pop? Oh, she wants a cake pop. Do you have any parting thoughts before I turn this off? What's the key to a happy life? Money. Wow, just dropped Jada off for school. She really is like amazing, so good for me. She's like such a good relationship with her. I just love her, she makes me so happy. So backstory, Jada is basically a huge part of the reason why I, I moved here and essentially fell into or allowed myself to, to fall into the family situation so quickly. I was a single guy when I met Jacqueline. She had three kids and there was no, no father figure in the picture and Jada was basically about two years old. She was right around her second birthday when I met Jacqueline and I started coming out here and. I was living in New York at the time. I started coming out to St. George and just hanging out with them on weekends. And, uh, you know, D Jacqueline and I were basically dating long distance. And after a couple months of coming out here, you know, Jada's never, she, at the time, she was two years old. She'd never had a father. And it was, it was one of her very first words. She just blurts out, I forget exactly what she said, but she ended by saying daddy. She blurted out like, you know, let's play a game, daddy, or something. She just called me dad out of the, out of the blue. And Jacqueline and I were like, whoa. I had no idea how excited I would be to be a dad. And like literally when she said that, uh, something just lit up inside me. I couldn't stop it. As soon as she said daddy, I was like, I want that feeling. I want that title. I want that responsibility for the rest of my life. And you know, who knows how things would play out. It's, it's pointless to speculate, but I can say that if Jada had not so quickly bonded to me as her dad, you know, would I be here? You know, how would things have gone? I don't know. It's always kind of got a special place in my heart for that, and she knows it. Heading to the rec center, 7.30, gonna crush our basketball game. My son is driving. What's up, buddy? What's up? That's Jace. <laughs> Scrappy hustler with a nice three-point stroke. Every now and again a shooter. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He'll just come out of nowhere and pop a three. You're like, what? How are you feeling about the game? I feel like this one's gonna be different than the other two. Like, like different, better. Like different, it's worse. Be the closest. Yeah. If not, we win. Oh, he's he's calling a close game with a possible victory. three-pointer I'm like so emotional I want to cry That's awesome. so a little post-game analysis we lost by what five six something like that five or six points. but we definitely scored more points than the combined total of our first two games we made big strides big strides Jace <gasps> popped his first three I did. the crowd went wild sure, <laughs> <laughs> so as I'm driving to the gym, I real I remember that yesterday I got this message. I'm on a couple lists for uh, real estate investments. Um, and one of them's like Utah-based properties, and I actually got a message yesterday about a home that's available for a cash buy that happens to be about eight minutes from my house. So I'm actually going to swing by that since I got up early, and it's still only 3:40. I'm going to swing by and check out this place. That it's either that property or that property 
It looks like they both are occupied and I don't want the lights pointing in the windows at 3.45 in the morning. But uh, either one of those properties looks like it would probably be a pretty good buy at 79 grand. Now I'm on the way to the gym, still be at the gym. Look at that. I already went and looked at a investment property and I'll be at the gym still by 4 a.m. Good morning world. All right, it's Friday. That means it's video shooting day. What's up team? Look who it is. It's the guys. So we're out in the parking lot in front of the studio where we shoot. Life hack. I keep an electric razor. Obviously I have one in my house. I also have one in my office and I also have one in my car. So wherever I am, I can shave on a moment's notice. And then I'm also studying the scripts. I gotta record two new sales scripts, one that I wrote and one that my partner Adam wrote for we're having a contest where whichever sales script wins and actually uh, Hearn and our marketing manager is writing a script too. And so of the three of us, whichever script wins, the other two have to chip in to buy him a Rolex. But that way, like, let's say Adams wins, and then I get a chance to redo mine, and if I can get mine to, mine to take over, it's like a title belt, then, then he has to send me the Rolex, so. I tense every muscle in my body. And get... <clears throat> and then I relax it all at once. It makes you more relaxed to get really tense and become conscious of your tension, so then you consciously release your tension tension instead of just trying to think about not having tension. Hey, it's Jeff. And first of all, I want to congratulate you on getting my free book. It's been downloaded now by over a million people. What's up guys? We're on our way to Vegas to hang out with middle school girls. <laughs> <laughs> that were, to be clear, these are girls that we're related to. Yeah. Also known as my daughter and our cousins. So yeah, going to Vegas, do some shopping though. Right. Hit the mall. Stone's gonna buy some shoes. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys should see Stone's shoe collection. What's your What's your most valuable pair of shoes? Probably my off-white Jordan 1s. Off-white Jordan 1s? Yeah. How much do you think they're worth? Like, depending on if they're new or used, like brand new, like two grand. Two grand? Yeah. Wow. Do they go up in value? Yeah, over time. Made it for our getaway. We're at the, the win. Pretty much my favorite hotel on earth is the win in Las Vegas. And uh, had a little bit of a bummer, so we were pulling in and I guess I ran over a nail or something and my tire's leaking. So I gotta try to figure out how to get a tire change while I'm here, which I really don't wanna be dealing with, but it is what it is. So yeah, everybody else went to the mall to, I don't know, get lunch and hang out. And I'm just up here trying to figure out how to get a tire changed. Anyway, I just love this place. Check it out, you got the, such a view. You got the golf course down there. This birthday girl. Hi. Girl party with cousins and aunts. Good morning. All right, so busy morning. We had our little homemade hotel workout. Ate breakfast with the fam. Jacqueline and I went out and did a little shopping and now I gotta pack up real quick. So yeah, because of my flat tire in my car, I actually have to stay here another night. So I'm gonna go stay here with some relatives of Jacqueline, which means I gotta pack up. I'm gonna crush like eight hours work of work. It's gonna be just a sick work marathon. What's up team? Just got a little vlog action going. It's the team. It's Portland, it's Jada, it's Jacqueline. Hi guys. Oh, and my bag. Your bag is a character on the team? Yeah. If we were a football team, her bag would be the quarterback. For real. 